Happy New Year, y'all. So here I'm just kind of putting in some insulation underneath the flooring. And I'm only able to do the outer three sections on each side because it's 16 on center. The middle three sections are like 21 and 24 on center. And I just don't have the insulation for now to put in there. So just threw this up there. And uh, I only got about halfway up the house before I stopped doing it. But I'm just giving you a breakdown of different things I've picked up from my mom's house over the month. So check it out. All right, look at this beauty. Did a uh, trip out to mom's house and picked up a bunch of stuff for the house while I was out there because I brought the truck. And I got this beautiful couch for free. Um, I actually really like the like design of the couch as far as it being vintage and wood framed. And yeah, could do without the old floral print. In my mind, at some point, I will reupholster this, re this, but for now, it works good. Um, let's see, what else did I get? <clears throat> oh yeah, importantly, got a uh, oven. <laughs> good story in this one. I actually saw for free uh, out near my mom's, and they I messaged them twice. They never got back to me, and then it disappeared, which is why I figured they didn't get back to me. And then I saw this oven uh, listed like the next day for like 75 bucks uh, closer to my mom's house. And I wasn't sure if it was the free one, but I had a feeling it probably was because I saw in the pictures the guy had a bunch of different appliances in the background. So when I went to get it, he's like, hey, can I interest you in this micro, this in, you know, built in microwave that comes with it? And I was like, and that was in the ad when it was for free. And I was like, hey, you got this for free a couple of days ago in Auburn, didn't you? And he's like, uh, uh, maybe. And then he's like, oh, yeah, this probably was it. Uh, how about 60 bucks? Because he felt bad. And I was like, yeah, I know, you know, I know you're a uh, appliance flipper. That's fine. That's all good. You know, and 75 bucks was a good price anyway. But yeah, it's kind of funny that he's like, and he's like, I've never been called. I never had this happen to me. And I was like, yeah, no worries. You just beat me to it. So it's all good. But yeah, so he gave me a deal. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. And then I stopped by the Habitat stores near my mom's. And they were having a 50% off of all used stuff that weekend so i found this door here it's brand new it's uh, just primed and it was originally 60 which is a good deal to begin with but so i got it for 30 and this will be for the front bathroom in between the bathroom and the bedroom and then there was i needed four more interior doors and i got these shaker style doors they were 20 dollars a piece and they're brand new primed although they just have uh like halfway drilled through uh door uh, handle holes so i think these were technically supposed to be uh like slider doors or maybe closet either pocket doors or uh closet sliders but they're the size i need so i'll just drill through all the way and then route out some sections for the hinges and then i found this exterior door it's you know it's seen better days uh, but i do need this one for i'm going to switch out my front door and put this one in there and the front door is going to go in the back because the front door currently has the wrong swing and this one uh i don't have to read i can just flip these uh, hinges to make it swing the right way plus i like the square windows for the front and then the back one can have those triangle ones that I have in the current one. But yeah, it's the right size. It was originally 50 and I got for 25 So all in all, a good score there. Then I stopped by the depot and got the ultralight drywall. They didn't have ultralight at the, the hardware store near my house. Only light, which is like twice as much weight as, as these. So I put all the ones that I had, only got six sheets, and I put them all in the shear walls so the weight would be okay because um, it's sitting over the frame. But on the outskirts, you know, I didn't want to put as much weight, so the ultralight's going to be good. I got 12 sheets, so they should be doing well. Then again, I can't really put any in the outer walls right now anyway because of electrical stuff I still need to do. But these will be able to cover all the walls that I can do for now and before I do electrical. And again, picked up more two by threes to hopefully finish some framing. Got this thing, I think it was, let's say 25. So I got it for half of that. Um, I don't really like the style with this little wicker stuff and this 
arch, um, but I'll get rid of that and redo it and probably take this part off and straighten it out. Um, but I liked it because it was a, it's a medicine cabinet. It'll be for the, uh, the small bathroom, but I liked that it. it's solid maple probably or solid oak. I'll probably sand it, stain a darker color. Maybe we'll see. And then I picked up two boxes of hardwood, you know, real hardwood flooring of this. I'm not really sure kind of what it is, but it's a darker color. I like it kind of a mahogany look, but I think it's more of a exotic, you know, uh, either African or uh, Central American lumber uh, wood. I think it, they call it Jatoba. Never heard of that. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do with these two boxes is actually make countertops for my kitchen out of these maybe the one in the master bathroom as well. And, and these were, I got, I think retail, these would probably be at least a hundred bucks a box. Um, but they were $25 a box normally. So 50% off. So the two boxes for $25. And then there was these two boxes of, of really high quality bamboo. And I looked these up and they were like $150 a box retail. And I got two boxes for uh, $25 each half off so $25 for two boxes and what I'm going to do is make a countertop in the front bathroom and use it on the flooring in the front bathroom um, since it's just a shower stall and it's going to be the secondary bathroom um, you know you really shouldn't put like uh, hardwoods in bathrooms and I did look on the website for this uh, who makes this and they're like yeah you can put it in the bathroom just make sure you put a splash guard and not let near the you know, near the uh, shower and just not let water sit on it for too long and it should be fine. So, so we'll do that. We'll do the bathroom floor and the countertop in the front bathroom with this stuff. So that was a good score. And I think that's about all we got, but yeah, it was a good, good trip in the truck and got a lot of stuff. All righty. So just going back to working on the insulation underneath, cutting these little sections of Tyvek out to staple up here in between the outriggers and I couldn't you know get it to go between the floor joist and the framing of the house so we'll, we're just doing as best I can by sealing it up and stapling it you know in here in each section as best I can I'll be putting some foam insulation on top of that anyway so it should seal it up pretty well but anyway on to the next all right we just got back from mom's house for from Thanksgiving weekend it's actually i stayed there until monday came back and while i was up there i drove the truck instead of the little car as much as i'd rather have the gas mileage of the little car i always think that i can pick up something nice when i'm in town because it's a more metro area and yes i picked up these cabinets you can't really tell what they look like from here but had to throw three of them up on top had to put two of them on the tailgate Luckily, this is the only one that's uh, particle board. The rest are old school uh, plywood, which is nice. Um, they're very, well, this one, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure it's plywood, but anyway, they're they're very old style. We'll show you here in a minute, but yeah, we got them here in the truck. They didn't fly off on the highway, so that's a bonus. I do actually have one more cabinet still at mom's house in the garage. I may have been able to fit it up there on top, but... Oh, well, I didn't, couldn't fit, throw it up front because they had the doggers and, and yes, it's starting to snow a little bit. Crazy. It's still in the mid thirties, so not freezing, but we get a few flakes coming down here. That's pretty crazy. That time of year, I guess. Anyway, we'll get these inside and we'll show you what they look like. All right. We got it all in here so you guys can see it now. And so this is the, we'll start off with this one. This is the main uh, counter and cabinet section you know the sink was right there um i'm not going to use this countertop obviously and where i have it you know the sink's going to go right under the window here and then the range is going to be where the fridge is right now so obviously i'm not going to have the you know the drawers so it'll just be here and um, we have this is two sets of uh cabinets and then those two sets and they had this uh, pretty cool uh old plywood tops um there as well used to be above this one i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this white cabinet probably just be maybe in the shed in a shed at some point but anyway so these ones will probably be above mm, i think probably above over above the stove these 
two will probably be right there. And then we have these two big ones. I'll probably use this, these two big ones. Let's see. Oh, and I do have another set of these at my mom's house still. Probably use these above the washer and dryer in there. I will try to figure out if I can put some, um, you know, casters or whatever you want to call them, the sliders. I think underneath you can get them, so it, you know, it's kind of just more modern update. And then another thing I plan on doing is, unfortunately, I think I don't know if it's trendy or not. I mean. Everybody has them right now, but the shaker style, I'll just get some, uh, like maybe a quarter inch piece of plywood and then trim them down and make, turn these into shaker style cabinets on all of them and drawers and whatnot, uh, just to modernize it. Um, but we'll see if there's some other design I can use. Cause like I said, I just think everybody has shaker style these days. So, uh, you know, five years from now, people may, might look at it like, oh, that's so outdated. So I don't know. I want something classic. And I think, although Shaker, I think is a classic design. So probably timeless. But anyway, this is what we got. Got it all in here. My back hurts now because that thing was super heavy. Um, but there you go. Was it, oh, yeah. It was a whole $100. So all this cabinetry, $100. So I'll spend, you know, at least a few hundred dollars and countless hours Make it a modern and whatnot, but better than spending thousands of dollars for pre-made stuff that I just have to assemble. So there it is. All right, so just another update on kitchen cabinets here. <clears throat> I stopped by the Habitat store in my town and I picked up these two cabinets, just carcasses, because when I cut, so I have to separate the one I have here, here and there. Or at least here. Maybe not there. We'll see how I have to figure out my sink dimensions. Because I do have to. It's a farmhouse. So it comes out here. So I have to do something. So I'll probably have to separate in both spots. But there's only one piece of plywood in here. So if I cut this in part. This will have an end cap. But then the sink section doesn't have an end cap. And so I'd either have to buy a new piece of plywood. Or luckily I found cheap carcasses with similar dimensions. I'm not sure if the toe kick is the same or not, but it's at least the same size or bigger so I can cut it, cut it down. So I'll just break this one apart for these two ends. And this one I probably will as well. Um, or I just need this extra piece um, to put on the end somewhere. But anyway, so yeah, pick those up really cheaply and we'll break them down. And then I picked up this nice lane Coffee table for $15. I'll refinish at some point. These cool little mid-century end tables that I'll refurbish and sell. They were $10 a piece. Um, yeah, just another project added to the list. But here we go. All right, so now back to work. Uh, just uh, taking the doors off here so I can start breaking this cabinet down. Finally, after telling you my plans, which they ended up switching back and forth and changing. So we'll see what happens in the end. Yeah, just banging out that back end. That piece is pretty hammered, so I won't be reusing it. But uh, this thing came apart pretty easy, so we'll show you what I got. All right, so we're breaking down the cabinet here. And if you noticed, I've swapped the oven and the fridge. I finally put an outlet in the wall there. It's just temporary. Uh, but this is going to be the setup of the kitchen when I'm done. Because the oven was originally there. And I'll put a little uh, X-Fill uh, exhaust fan going out the side of the wall there we'll put the pull drawers here i don't know if i don't have a lazy susan thing to utilize the corner space i might find one or i'll just you know it'll be dead space um, i'll have plenty of uh, drawers and cabinets and whatnot so it's not a necessary thing at least for me I don't have too many kitchen utensils but anyway all right just got back from mom's and on the way home uh well i did load up my truck truck with some stuff nothing to it exciting i did bring my sink which is good so i can make the countertop or the kitchen cabinets for the sink area and somebody was giving away some old drywall unused well this part had been cut um, but let's see one two three four five and a half sheets or almost six sheets for free so i stopped in olympia on my way home and grabbed those so that's nice but what's really exciting is 
This came while I was gone. I got my Leviton uh, packages. And, uh, and there's my new electrical, so that's awesome. And uh, yeah. Anyway, just a couple pics of my pretty much current uh, living situation, but we'll start to work on some electrical here. You know, it's winter time, so I'm not working too hard because I get less motivated. But again, thanks for coming along. I thought I'd give you a little update, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.